Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to the finale of America's Next Top Scandal Girls Cycle 2. Oh my god, it feels like we've been on this season forever because mummy keeps getting plastic surgery. <laughs> and having to take breaks to rest. So I didn't actually realize that this episode is the final. So I am coming to you filming this actually before the last episode has gone live. I was like, we're near the end of the season. It's December. Should we see what treats are available in America's Next Top Scandal Girl? Fully expecting there to be like another two or three episodes. So in my folder here, this episode that we're gonna watch today is episode 11, but it is actually the final. And there's two other, well, there's like a major episode, which is like, what's that? 41 minutes long. So I guess that's like a recap. I guess that's a recap, right? The little thumbnail is of Kay, say. You wanna be on top? And then I also have a clip called ANTMO2 winner. And that is, oh, it's only a minute long. So I should have done my due diligence, shouldn't I? Oops. That's all right. Mummy's on very strong painkillers. <laughs> no, she's not. So in the last episode, we saw the tumultuous Shandy Cheats storyline. I was left feeling very a certain type of way, should we say? Especially judging from the way that as it was leading up to this episode, lots of people in the comments were like, oh my God, I can't wait until you get to that part. Like that, it's rather shocking. Can't believe it, girl. I just can't wait to see how you react. Electric chair. This season has been such a wild ride, should we say. A lot of the times I actually feel like production has been kind of unfair. So in the case of Janasha oversleeping, I thought that was kind of unfair. Production plying all the girls with alcohol for that little party that Shandy ended up cheating at was kind of unfair. Although I do also agree that you know, she is at fault and at least she had the self-awareness or to realize that she was at fault. Could you imagine if she was like, it wasn't my fault. I didn't mean it wasn't my fault. We would have all been like, oh my God, what a horrible, horrible thing to watch. As I mentioned in the last episode, I feel more sorry for her boyfriend really because his face and his name will be associated with this like scandal on this reality TV show that he even wasn't really a part of. I don't like the way that they're kind of going down this eating disorder route for Joanna. I have no idea if they're going to to try and, uh, what's the word? What do I even, I was gonna say try and like exaggerate it? No, highlight it further? Is that a phrase that I can use in this episode today? But I think we can all agree that the budget upgrade from season one was quite, quite extreme. All right, my loves, let's watch the final of America's Next Top Scandal Girls season two, because I wanna see who wins in Milan. Spoiler alert, I actually know who wins. <laughs> Get your oh hanger in, girls, and let's go. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. Previously on America's Next Top Model. It all started in New York City, where 12 women New of York various City. Shapes, sizes and backgrounds arrived from across the country. Oh, yes, goodness. Hey. What's your name? Katie. While friendships formed between some, <laughs> Conflict brewed between others. Yes, but it was kind of manufactured. I don't trust you. I will say I do not trust you. I wouldn't trust anyone I was in a competition with. Oh my god, they all look so different before the makeovers. Difficult shoots. Difficult. You look like a walrus wearing chiffon. Boy, a walrus in chiffon. Daytime tweed with a walrus in chiffon. Take criticism. Go down where the hookers hang out by the docks to see what they're wearing and then avoid it. And that was so my rude. Very own music video. Oh yeah. Take your body, body girl. Dead. Pack your bags, y'all. You're going to Milan. What wild? Just absent, like the way that they put it, like this, it just shows you how wildly intense and alluring this show was. Literally, all they've done there has been like, you can be this. You can get on a modeling show. You can do modeling. You can have conflict. You can live in a house. Make lifelong friends on television. Girls, go on holiday. Wow. No wonder why every year that. America's Next Top Model was renewed for a new cycle. The amount of people that would go to the auditions with the hope of this like dream, it is sold in such a like giant golden packet. Like it's like a, a ticket, your golden ticket to a better life or something. I don't care. Stuff in Milan, Italy, where the right. competition intensifies. Oh yes, oh they sell Milan. I want to spend on my credit card. I want to leave. This is my signature walk and this is what's going to make me famous. After production, yes, that's that. What were you thinking? But that was production trying to lure them into a nonsense. She lost when she had a careless oh. fling. You had sex? Yeah. Oh my God, honey. 
The competition has uh, been fierce, no, but nine very difficult cuts Fear. had to be made. Yes. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, my God. Oh, Camille just being like, bye. Tonight, <laughs> it's it. down to three finals. Ooh. Da, 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 da. One, Mercedes charmed the judges with her warm and bubbly personality. Dad prom, baby. I look good at my prom. <laughs> Her enthusiasm and charm only hit the pain of her oh. secret struggle with lupus, a chronic and painful illness. I'm scared. Mercedes. Oh, she was selling that line in the voiceover booth there, wasn't she? She was like, a painful illness. Necessary. No. Dis I, don't, I don't like the way that that was filmed. This this whole section, her whole lupus storyline, the way that it was edited together was just almost like, well, she can, she's expected to behave exactly the same way as anyone else, despite having this thing that doesn't let her behave exactly the same way as everyone else. And she found a way to shine on every shoot and in every challenge. But in the fashion industry, there is such a thing as being too cute. Oh no, too I'm, cute. I'm too cute. <laughs> to be America's next top model, Mercedes has to show the judges her Ooh, emotions. she's in the sky. Now you want to have a passion for fashion. She knew that one day she wanted to be Not the passion for fashion. Passion for fashion. Like <laughs> Be a high fashion model, but Joanna also knew that she had to shed nearly 50 pounds. After working with a trainer and eating healthy, Joanna got into peak modeling condition. 50 pounds is how much I've lost. Her self confidence wavered from time to time, but her gorgeous looks wowed the judges. You they did. That twink loves her. Despite her beautiful face, she was often inconsistent. Your walk is really is as useless as a oh, flash. Oh, we've, we've only seen Miss J once in this entire episode. Oh, my phone. We have only seen Miss J once in this entire season. I cannot wait until we get to the later seasons when Miss J is on all of the panels because Miss J was kind of like my favorite part about this entire show. I know that they're also not squeaky clean because I don't feel like anyone came out of the show alive. Like a lot of negative problematic things were done on this show. But the one thing I will say that was brilliant about America's Next Top Model is exposing mainstream people to gender non-conforming people. Batteries in the dark. Tonight, Joanna's got to deliver a performance that is flawless. She's got a delivery with Hermes. Top models can oh. be born or they can be made. Hi. Can Shandy I? was a clerk at a Missouri Walgreens. Her life couldn't have been any more different than the life of a model. And she knew she had a lot of work ahead of her. So she right. lost the glasses, went blonde. I feel so pretty. And her walk finally improved. On We've the balcony. The she needs to be a top model. Oh, the dance With challenge. Her oh, that was cringe. Crisis, will she be able to pull herself together and focus to take it all the way? Oh, they we'll love it, don't they? They it love the drama. Now, on the season finale oh, of America's Goosebumps Next girl. Top Model. America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Janasha. There's still something so nostalgic about this like sound, this sound bite, this song. It's so like, takes me all the way back to Living TV 2006. <laughs> you wanna be on Gout? America's Next Top Model with Tyra Gout. Right, here we go. Milan. Oh, look at the architecturaliers. Woman, strong, glorious woman, kick ass for me. I am here in spirit for you all. Oh yes, April when, didn't she? Oh. Kick ass for me, I am here in spirit. I wasn't I expecting April. April to be eliminated. You know, I thought April would have been one of the top three. It's just like any given time someone could leave. So by her saying that, does she mean like, Mercedes, bye. Hey, how are you? Uh, everything's good, I'm, I'm good. feeling good. Good. What I've Are learned you? the most from being in this competition and dealing with lupus is that it's about okay. maintaining my disease. And just, I'm mentally so strong that I'm not complaining at all. Hey, mama. Oh, it's kind of a shame that she feels she has to add that disclosure at the end there because adequate changes should be made for people who have things that make them unable to perform to exactly the same as like a completely ordinary human being. And I don't feel like that's completely deranged of me to say at all. America's next top ableist woman. I coined it. I own it. Bitch. Hey, mama, I got a chance to cry. Hi, honey. I haven't talked to you in so long. Oh, my I guess I didn't realize how lonely you can actually get while you're, you know, doing this. I mean, you know, I'm very close to my mom, so it's really been hard being away from her. I miss you, but... Okay, you're doing okay now? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Good. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say that um, I really I miss you a lot. Oh! I seriously thought that he would hate me forever for cheating. Can you sound happy? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I'm not mad, okay? Okay. I just care about you right now, okay? Even though it's I'd a be really mad, horrible sis. thing that I did, it seems like we're close enough and we care enough about each other that we're, we're willing to to work through it and like discuss it so that we can, you know, continue to have a relationship. Oh, I mean, she's approaching this in a very adult way. I feel like he's also approaching this in a really adult way. For me, I think it's a deal breaker though. Getting cheated on is a deal breaker. Electric chair. I think there probably will be people in the audience here who have gone through something similar to this situation and have communicated with their partner in a way that it's not an issue anymore. But for me, it's something like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm neurodivergent. Maybe it's because I got ADHD. I don't know. But like my brain latches onto emotions and how I felt at that time. And I cannot move past those things. So if I was cheated on and I'd felt those emotions, I don't think I could process them in a way that would leave me to be like, that's fine. I'm going to move on with my life now. It would be like, oh no, no, no. Each to their own, girls. Each to their own. Don't give up, okay? I won't. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh no, fireman. Ow, what's this? No. Now that there are only three of you left, oh. cozy up into one room. Oh, she loves doing this, doesn't she? Tyra's like, so you're all going to be lesbians now? I've never met a lesbian. <laughs> Now that there are only three of you, uh, cozy up into one room. Help you. Yes, exactly. I completely Help agree. You. Get out. I want my own room. Oh, my own house. My own country. Me. Nobody else. Goodbye. What a beautiful bin bag that was. Now a that purple April's bin gone, bag. I have to move all of my belongings upstairs and nobody wants to help. Hey, they just belongs. go straight to bed. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> He's busting up her room. What? Oh. I could get to sleep if people would help me. Well, don't bring so damn many clothes out. The love. Ow. Ow! Coffee in Milan. Sure. We get a tower mail and it reads that we're doing a beauty ad today. Doing a Be ready at oh no! Oh no! Not an advert! <laughs> a commercial. Do you remember the last one? Fresh look. Passion. Passion. Tyra. Today was supposed Tyra. to be a, a beauty shoot and I don't look good. <laughs> actually, the last one that they did in this season, which was the Matrix style shoot for, was it those potato chips? Was actually kind of good. I didn't feel anywhere near as like, uh, as when we watched the first one in cycle one. So I guess the like rise in production value and the rise in production like ability through budget, I guess is producing better results. That's generally what happens, isn't it? The more money you put into something and hire accurate people to create something, usually the outcome is better, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Business, yay. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. she's got a degree. Say something, I feel like belt. right now Yvonne is um, my biggest competition. Like she Ooh. knows how to work her face. She knows everything about this business. She knows the photographer. She knows the clothes. And um, that's something that I don't have yet. Oh. Mercedes has got a pretty good shot of winning the competition. You know, she photographs well. Uh, she's got a great personality. I think she'd be a great role model and top model. I think Shandy would be Audio winning switch. this competition. She's transformed so much from a caterpillar to a butterfly, and the judges see that. Oh, and she really works well in high fashion. Oh, yes! She does look good there, doesn't she? I forget about that. This is it, you know? The last photo. This is it! Had, it's kind of scary because there's no room for mistakes. No. Good morning, girls. Oh. Louis Vitoire. All three of you stand here. Hello! You look completely different. Oh, she but needs you're a toner. All so beautiful in your own way. So today, each... Did you see me check my own hair there to make sure that I could actually say that? And you know what? I think I might need a toner too. <laughs> Beautiful in your own way. So today, each and every one of you will get a completely different look. Today's Ooh. show is going to be high-end, stylized beauty ads. Doing a beauty ad has been like my dream because any top model, like once they get a cosmetic contract, like you're... You're going to do high-end beauty ads, but you're going to completely transform your look? Okay, all right, that's quite a concept, isn't it? What the hell is going on with your eggs? Any top model, like once top they get a model. cosmetic contract, like your face becomes a household name. So your creative team today, obviously... Is that the case now? 
your face becomes a household name. I guess maybe in this day and age it was. Like I couldn't name you a, a model for Dior right now, you know, or a model for Rimmel. But back in this day and age, it was literally Kate Moss for Rimmel. Get the London look. No. I guess maybe now, unless you're like an international supermodel that moves into the realm of celebrity, maybe your name isn't a household name now. The inner workings of Luxaria's brain. <laughs> So your creative team today, obviously, evil uncle Nole Marin will be styling you evil today. Evil uncle. Gianluca Guaitoli will be doing your hair. Ooh. And our photographer oh, he looks Massimo very Costoli intense, doesn't will he? be shooting these amazing beauty ads. I absolutely despise you all. Model, your smile is so important. Yes. I just want to give you your bright smile whitening pen. Just go up and down on all your teeth. Is so this? your look today is- Was that a secret? Ad that we weren't disclosing? Is that what that is? Oh, if you did that on YouTube, you get clocked. What was that? I'm going to give you your bright smile ad, your bright smile tooth whitening pen now. Thou shalt not pay retail. Give you your bright smile whitening pen. Ooh. She's got, She's got a brand deal. So your look today is going to be this helmet. It's cool, right? Oh, is it this iconic photo shoot? You're so strong in your face. Aha. I think you could totally carry this off. Um, this photo shoot is gonna determine a lot. Make sure you show the name. Get out of that commercial look. Each one of us wants oh, to Oh, don't do it, don't do it. No? Don't do it, don't do the rainbow lashes. Don't do the rainbow lashes. Don't do any colorful lashes. Never, don't ever do that. It never works. It doesn't translate. It's hideous. I hate it. Goodbye. I'm gonna die on that hill. You're gonna die up there. Never use colorful eyelashes. Never. Each one of us wants to win this competition, but I want it more than they do because I've came this far, you know? Um, Buckwheat from Little Rascals. It's gonna be beautiful. I love No Lace Funkiness, Rascals. but he put a wire around reference. me, and I'm like, you know, he's a stylist, Ooh. knows what he's doing, you know? Shut your mouth and be quiet. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> yes! Oh, dear. Time for a tantrum. The pressure has increased, I think, especially with three of us just left. You have to really, you know, perform. I'm just like wanting everything perfect. I do like my the one hair. hair. The back of like my neck was itching and it was coming out of the helmet, but John Luca didn't have the time to do it. Can I have the scissors? I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. No. DIY yeah. hair styling. <clears throat> you want it? <gasps> What did you do? Did I really butcher it? You butchered yeah, it. You, you cut did. a huge hole in your back of your head. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I cannot believe that you want a chunk her hair. And it looks like there's a big chunk out the back of her head. Yoana, you're so beautiful. Stop being anxious. You've ruined your hair. I think it must be the competition. Oh Yoana might be breaking down inside. She needs well, I mean, she did like want the stylist to just trim it a little bit, but I think taking matters into your own hand right there at a photo shoot is a little bit Difficult? I mean, you hear of it sometimes, like sometimes a sporadic idea or a sporadic moment can be like, the thing that changes direction of the model's career, girls. But this is a reality TV show more than a modeling competition. So it's kind of strange that this whole situation has happened because clearly the competition is getting to Joanna. I mean, look at this scene right here. She is practically flooding, I was gonna say flooding the basement. <laughs> She's practically flooding the photo shoot. I don't think, I, if someone put a helmet on my head, I don't think I'd be like, right, quick, I need to trim all the bits that are showing. I don't think I would do that. No. Would I do it for a modeling competition and the chance to be America's Next Top Scandal Girls? No. You ugly bitch. She needs to get it together. Get it together. Yeah. It tastes so good. Yes. I think it's great. It looks like a Aztec, like warrior, Zulu, African thing. I was feeling it. Oh. Mercedes, you really blow me away. I was picturing that the camera is the eyes of Yuan and Shandy and that they're not going to take me down. I'm is invincible like were... Superwoman. Is when it... I see Mercedes oh. doing her photos, she's doing really good. Like, oh, Shandy, they've done you dirty awesome. girls. I finish again. This photographer is like, I don't care. The photo shoot is a tad bit difficult. I have a lot of problem with like showing intensity and like feeling in my eyes. I was watching Shandy and she had like a rock star type of feminine appeal. But when I was looking into her face, she looked scared. And A rock star kind of feminine appeal? Rock star kind of feminine appeal? I don't see rock star feminine appeal. I actually see like... Vogue Japan, weirdly enough. But if it was bad sex, I'd rather have a radish. But when I was looking into her face, she looked scared. And and also, Shandy kept on looking at me in the background. Stop I'm clapping, like, I'm frightened. Oh. <laughs> good, good, I like this. 
Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Stunning. An iconic moment in fashion history. Relax and love. They say, don't push out the lips too much because then you look like you're... It's too pouty. Oh, and then give the eyes. Stunning. Look at that lip color. Squinty. It's too much down. Stop. And then when you move, it's got to be a centimeter at a time. It can't be none of this or that. I mean, it is really complicated. And I can barely hear anything with the helmet on. Bella. Bravo. Like this. I mean, yeah, there you go. Very there you go. Sure, but it's not brain I'm surgery, go, is it? Beautiful. Wonderful. They're liking her. And I'm like, oh, bitch, you ain't going to go nowhere. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Violence girls. Don't be Rude. Are you kidding me? You know, it's Dude. down to the final three girls, and they're all How does her hair strong. look at the back now? Shandy is doing amazingly well. Mercedes just constantly surprises me. And Ioana wants to be America's Next Top Model so I badly. Big I... chunk. You got gum back there? <laughs> She'll okay. do her anything hair doesn't look, to win. Oh, it does look bad. Really, right now, in terms of the top three, uh, it's really, 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 really tight. Who's going to win? Well, I mean, I know who wins, but like, who's going to have the best outcome? I actually think it should be Mercedes versus Joanna there. Entirely. Personally. Ladies, have you really learned ah. the elements it takes to be a top model? No. This morning, you'll be I meeting want to go home. brothers behind the major fashion house, D Squared. <gasps> oh! D Squared, really hep. Their clients are like Eve and Madonna. Uh, and these Madwaj. are people that I admire. D Squared are the newest, Madonna. hottest, hippest fashion designers of the moment right now. Ooh. And I'm sending the girls to do an audition to be in the D Squared final fashion show for America's Next Top Model. An audition? Huh. My kingdom come, thy will be done, honor the princess of heaven. The pressure now is even higher, and I'm just trying to stay focused. My competition is, is so, Ooh. it's fierce. You can see it in their eyes. Judge. We all want it, and it's coming down to the final count now. Well, any, everyone looks a bit judgy when they're played in slow motion. My goodness. Time to go to hell, girls! Abandon all hope, all ye who no. get on the Hi. show. Hi, ladies. I'm Jean. I'm Dan. Uh, we have a line called G Square. We've done a lot of castings and a lot of things, and uh, we're here today to see if you guys have what it takes. Look Dean at the and Dan kind of remind me of like little chipmunks a little bit. They're like Chip and Dale, and they're like they complete each other's sentences. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start with you, Mercedes. Park the car. Nothing like making the gays out like they're bumbling fools, is there? Nothing like that at all. Nothing like it. This show's done everyone dirty, it seems. We're gonna start with you, Mercedes. Park all right, the America car. Dead. All right. All right. Why, why should we book you or not the other ones that are here today? Okay. An orange you juice awesome. and a wine. That's the type of person I am. And to find a designer that you can do that with is great. Uh, Mercedes, her personality, she's like a, a sweet girl, bubbly girl. Mercedes was giving it. Your clothing is it. real. Like it brings Working. inspiration from, from real life. And that can bring my realness and my originality. Shani is a palette. Yeah, she's a beautiful girl. Nice posture, nice lines. I've loved fashion all my life. I grew up watching Elsa Clinch at age six and uh, forfeited Scooby Doo. Had my first. Scooby Doo. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I need Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> You want to seem very professional. You want to seem really loved fashion, I think. You know what I mean? They, they had a little bit of culture and fashion. Naturally, we're going to ask you who your favorite designer. Oh, well, Mark Jacobs. <gasps> <laughs> I love Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson? Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Why would they say Betsy Johnson? Is it because Betsy Johnson is the one that just happened, like, two weeks ago? Oh, I don't know about that. What is the right answer there? So in an interview situation when someone says, who's your favorite? Uh, I know that any, if you're in a retail position, let's just say you're working at a makeup counter and a customer comes over to you and is like, oh my God, my other brand has run out of eyebrow pencils. Do you know who does the best eyebrow pencils in here? I know that capitalism and that working in a retail environment makes you want to say, we do by hours. Don't just buy one, buy one for yourself and maybe one if you lose that and maybe your friends and family too. Go away with 19 new eyebrow pencils, please. And the double laughs. I know that's the case, but in an environment like this where you're not, it's not like, I don't know, is it more of a level playing field? Because it's almost like a business agreement is being like, 
I don't know, what's the word? Like grown together rather than like, I'm selling you this. Is the right answer in this situation to say, you are, you're my favorite designers. Because if you've never looked at any of their stuff before and they say, oh, what collection? You could be like, Death. I like the one with the flowers. Do you know what I mean? Or is it better to actually be fully honest here and be like, well, I really like the designs by X. I also really like the designs by Y. Is that more appropriate? Answers in the comments box below, girls. Oh, goiter. Also, who is drinking orange juice and wine for breakfast? I love it. Bottoms up and the double laps. Okay. <laughs> if a designer ever asks It's you, you. I love your clothes. Learn to laugh. I thought you really wanted to know. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody really wants no. to know anything. Yes, see? Oh, I don't know, because you... Is it too overly friendly to just meet someone and be like, No, we're having a little joke at it! If someone was like that to me, if I'd known them for longer than 10 minutes, maybe we could have had, like, that little banter, that little back and forwards, like, Oh, yes, of course, those are. they do do pretty good designs, don't they? But ours are better, you know what I mean? Rather than this sort of, like, Hello, I'm here now and I'm making an immediate joke with you. I'd be a bit like, mm, I don't know you well enough. I don't know. Time to stand for judgment. Dean and Dan are going to fit you in some of their clothes mm. for something that Nole and I are planning. See if you're ready, he's great. Come on, girls. Girl time who to always be. puts on her own clothes, who hangs them up by herself, she's better loves. <laughs> I hate those bitches that throw it on the floor. I think yeah, the line looks better on me on than on Joanna and Shandy. Ooh. All right, honey, let them have it. I like that. Go. I'm like, oh my God, Mercedes fits perfectly in the clothes. Ooh, Mercedes is feeling it. Yeah, she's got everything that these squared I think is looking for. Very cute. Good walker, girl. End of the run, what are you going to give me? I'll say whatever you want me to say. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just book me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is desperation attractive? Hmm. Night. Time to start the ritual. It says, you have a very big day ahead of you. Today you will meet with the judges and only two of you will continue Today? on with the hope of becoming Ooh. America's next top model. Surprise. You will be eliminated. Surprise, I'm bitch. Nervous, <laughs> I'm anxious. It's a whole bunch of emotion. I'm shocked because I didn't expect the elimination to come so soon. Yes. I think the reality is that there's three of us and there is only one prize. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Here we go. Oh dear. Black. Time to Hello, read. Hello, everybody. I just want to say, in the last season, the judging like situation was so less budget than this. I mean, look at this. They've got gigantic bouquets of flowers. They've got curtains on the table. They've got Tyra standing there like, I am about to sacrifice you. Praise Satan. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, I like. It's time to make our tenth stress. cut which will bring us one step closer towards determining who will become America's next top model. Ooh, of course, this we is have so our fast. Judges, Janice Dickinson. Oh, here she is. Eric Nicholson. Oh, somebody Nigel come get your Parker, twink. Nigel Nigel Basquish. At least we have our guest <laughs> judges. Oh. Dean and Dan of D squared. They're the hot thing oh, right now. Oh, D squared. Because Dean and Dan. D Going, oh, that's, that's really clever. See, that's great branding. You'd never know that, would you? Of D squared, they're the hot thing right now in Milan. The hottest the twinks in the world. Next and the now. I mean, they've done everybody. I mean, wait, no. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tonight's a very special elimination because yes. when the night is up, only two of you will be left standing. The and rest of you will be, be starring drunk. in a D squared fashion show. And your performance Janice in that excited. D squared I'm fashion excited. show will help determine who will become America's next top model. But now it's oh. time for your individual evaluation. Oh, it's black and white the And then theme? the judges will deliberate. Okay. And we'll determine which one of you should be eliminated. And Mercedes, you're first. Your first go, electric chair. Ooh, fashion on the runway. Look at that walk. Yes, we love to see it. Ooh. Hand on when the you hype. walk Mercedes, you glide really well, but it's like you have on roller skates. You need to pick up your feet a bit more and take bigger steps. You need to do we this. had a very edgy <laughs> beauty shoot with Massimo, and here is your best shot. Oh, right. Oh, bellissima. That's gorgeous. Oh. Bellissima. Oh. Never I love touch it. your face, girl, or I will come after you. Oh. You are beautiful. Thank you. Not many models can like throw on some naps and some yeah. grease on their face and some wire and look that there. That the shine picture, on the cheekbone. She nailed the beauty. I oh, like Nigel, the squish. intensity of your stare. This is, this is proving your chameleon qualities as a model, which is an important quality. Mm. Bravo. Okay, thank Would you. Would I buy something based Shandy. on that picture? I am unsure. Come on, Shandy girls. 
I love the way you look. Your, your attitude is so hip and cool. You've come light years. I That's... think your walk still oh. needs improvement. Yes. Feel it. Believe Feel it. yourself. Because I know that you have it in you. Um, I didn't see it tonight. But it's not just about me knowing it. It's about, you know, everyone seeing that you have that. Okay, so I guess Shandy is right, not Shandy, going so to be making it to the pageant. With Massimo, and oh, here's your rainbow brush. lashes, though, isn't it? Very Mary Quant. Very girl next door in mommy's paint. It's a very lovely picture. You are like a canvas, and you can be transformed. And your face is... Charmed. It takes makeup very well, She's as you can charmed. see here. I saw see well, it. it takes makeup very well. I hate that makeup. It's very Stargazer eyelashes 2004. Now, I have no problem with Stargazer eyelashes because I used to wear them, but it's very dated. But I guess, actually, I'm judging it by 2022 vision, aren't I? I forget, this was actually like 2004, wasn't it? 2005, so I guess, actually, it's probably very... What's the, what's the... Joie de vivre, is that the phrase? Joie de vivre? Joie de vivre? The joy of life, is that what that is? Is this the joy of life? <laughs> I still see oh, in this I picture, though, that there's that question mark of, you know, Shandy, we're going to make am you a Am I really star. a twink? And in your eyes, or am I, I an think star? I still see that, like, are you going to make me a star? Are you going to make it to the pageant? Next is Joanna. Oh! Walk first, honey. Walk! You better walk, bitch! Take that cardigan off! Oh. As much as I love the fashions on this show, do I even, I don't know, question mark. We'll put a pin in that one. Do I love them? Question mark. I do feel like sometimes it's very telling to see girls in their early 20s dress a lot older than they are. And I feel like this is very telling of the time because back in this day and age, you were kind of expected to behave a lot older than you are. Even just like 18 years ago, 18 years later even, we sort of expect people to try and not behave younger, but look younger, like the anti-aging, the, the chokehold that anti-aging fillers and Botox has on everyone at the moment is just so intense. It's kind of strange to look back in the past, and I think Joanna here is 24 or 25, and she's dressed very office 37-year-old chic. Luxaria would like to release a public statement saying that 37-year-old office chic is perfectly fine and lovely. Not good, not bad. I think definitely to focus on, on your style. The walk for me as well was a little stiff. This was sort of you doing a Nigel doesn't like walk. it stiff. He likes it soft and, and floppy. <laughs> Moon rocket girl. Oh, yes. Your eyes are amazing. Your lips are perfection. That's probably one of the most iconic photos from the entire franchise of America's Next Top Model. Like, that there, that is so incredible. That is so chic. That is so gorgina, girls. Now that I'm looking at it, the eyebrows are a little bit um, deranged. <laughs> but I think that's very much of its time as well. There was no such thing as like a nice little faded blend to make them look a little bit more neutral and like they were meant to be there, born with it. Snatural, as it's often referred to in the Eindra. That, but that lip color, oh, gorgeous. Well done. It looks like you're a villain in a movie and you're chasing yes. the good guys yes. <laughs> on a motorcycle. Yeah. Kill them all. <laughs> like you have an accent and you talk like this. I mean, Joanna, your picture is beautiful, but do you know what it means if you're not a clutch athlete? Like a clutch player? What is yeah. it? When it's the championship and there's five seconds left, he screws up. And oh. that's what I feel you are. You have the strongest walk to me. But then Ooh, you get here intense. down to the wire and fall to pieces. Well, how uplifting. Lovely. All right, time, to time to go to the guillotine. Right? One to twin power. I mean, I did the casting since I was here in Milan for something completely different. And any one of these girls would have been better than a lot of the girls who I saw here. So we're really on to the right thing, which is great. All those girls will be like, how dare you? A picture speaks a thousand words. This girl is giving you face. She can face. have a helmet on her head face, and look amazing. Face, face. She's just an incredible beauty. But you know, almost like this picture is a head, you know, <laughs> does she have the rest of the package? And I'm not sure. When I look at Joanna, I see someone that lives and breathes fashion. A I really passion, admire that desire. Um, I'm, I'm not impressed by the fact that she's not consistent. Ooh. Mercedes. Of the three Drama. girls, she won ah. the walking competition this evening. Mm -hmm. Her body is amazing. For me, it's these life experiences that she's had is why she's making a photograph that says something more than my face looks nice with makeup on it. And here you can see that she can do beauty and she can do the commercial catalog stuff. I mean, if this can walk around all the time and do interviews and, and do fashion shows and look like this, 
Shandy, Nigel. Hmm. Shandy is in for me, because mm. I think photographically she has what it takes. Uh, there's something that... So Nigel has just said in, in, in. With her. Shandy is what models are about now. Mm. Up-and-coming models don't look like me. They have an edge that just confuses people a little bit, and I like her being there for that reason. But she should oh. learn how to walk. Shandy has not been able to walk. Yes, Shandy looks great in clothes. Yeah, I mean, come on, we're talking know? about a fashion like... model. She's got to wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. No, all right, you guys, come on, this is serious. Which one of these girls do you think should be sent home? <sighs> Oh my goodness, I guys. think this Shandy. Really it's really hard. My head. Ugh. Oh, Janet. Oh, no. She's experiencing a thought. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, who's going to the guillotine halfway through the episode? There are three beautiful girls with three very different strengths. And I want to kiss me. them all. But I only have right. two photos in my hands. Is that a hateful shoe? I spy and on Tyra. These photos represent the two beautiful women. Ooh, that this is rather intense, isn't and it? compete in a D squared fashion show. Oh, they will compete. To become America's next top model. Okay, so the audition was a success. Imagine if they were like, no. <laughs> Here's going to be, girls. the pageant well done mercedes you have come so far you Ooh. went from oh i'm a commercial girl to oh, yeah i might look a little commercial in person but i'll show you edge and this picture right here saved your ass girl because if you had a jawline. hint of smile in your eye probably would have been going home tonight mm. but this one picture just put the exclamation point on I can be edgy, and I, I think will they've judged that fairly. Congratulations! I, I would say you America's Next Model has judged that fairly. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Well, Shandy oh, I can't and wait Joanna, to do it. Where are they now? Please support. <gasps> Shandy girls, Joanna girls. There are two of you standing in front of me, but I only have one photo in my only hands. Only one. We'll make it to the pageant. Both of you have done so well throughout this process. Oh. Joanna, you started off pretty strong yeah. and very knowledgeable. Yeah. And we're doing your thing and proving to us week to week Ooh. how great you walked, how original you were, how yes. gorgeous your pictures were. Yes. Shandy, you started off. That was all weak, very positive. And showed us that you can be edgy, that you can be beautiful. And then today, both of you fell apart in this room. Oh dear. What are you going to do when there's lights, camera, action, and people yelling your name and flash bulbs going off on that runway? I know what I do. I'm going to have a panic attack. Scrutinizing you and the dresser's pulling at you and the person is pushing you out on the runway and saying, Shandy, go. You want to go. If you can't handle these six people looking at you, how are you going to handle that? <gasps> With lots of I Valium. <laughs> no, no. Name. Right. And the name that I do not call must immediately return to your Italian apartment. Your Italian apartment. It is a hateful shoe. I knew it. Right. Da? It's got to be Shandy, hasn't it? Yeah. Joanna. I knew it. Da. Congratulations. Oh, Shandwaj. Thanks, Shandy. Bye. See you later. Oh my god, like at some at some points I just look in the mirror and I don't even recognize myself. I kind of resembles it's a mushroom. It's hard to even try to remember how I used to be. And oh, I feel like I've quite striking, grown isn't it? so much and it's like I've grown to a person that I like and I appreciate more. Now when I get home, I won't feel so lost, you know. I won't feel so insecure about myself. Shandy has a lot to work through when she gets home, doesn't she? Oh, I can't wait to do a where are they now? I think is, it's the best thing I'm gonna take out of this. And like, Shandy I have mail. a really good feeling that oh. my boyfriend and I are still gonna work and that we're gonna make it work. I wonder if they did. And that we're gonna be together. I wonder. Very young. Hmm. Oh! Shandy oh. mail to you on the machine. Thank you for taking care of me during one of the roughest moments of my life. Oh, I love you too. It's bittersweet not having Shandy in the house. I love her dearly Bye as a swipe. friend, but she's my competitor, and it's like this just gets me one step closer to having my Beep. dream fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Love and best yes. wishes, Shandy. AKA the evil Shandar. It's hidden me now that it's just going to be Joanna and I. I guess there's some in jokes we're not privy to. You know what? She ain't going to take my title. 
Joanna and I are to going to, to a galleria with Tyra. Oh my oh. god. Oh my a galleria, go. <laughs> Diarrhea in a gallery. Do your runway, your fashion show for D Squared. <laughs> I'm like, oh my sure. god, I see like everybody setting up the runway. There's yeah. lights, there's people, and they're very serious and, and I'm a matrix. Just, like, nervous. I'm so excited. I mean to actually be doing a real runway show in Milan. I just feel like I'm that almost quite there. It's exciting. Like, this is the last obstacle and it's like I wanna give it my all and I'm They must be feeling to, you know, so really intense. Kick some ass. Don't look at anybody except straight ahead. You'll feel all these flashes of photographers and feel that and take that in. This is a real so the fashion show in America's Next Model Cycle 1 for the finale was actually like faked as we found out. Whereas this one feels like it legitimately might be real. I guess we'll have to do some investigation, won't we girls? Yes! This is a real fashion show. So you've got to realize now this is a real deal. Realize, it's not just realize, the Mercedes and Joanna real show. Life. It's the D squared show. Yes. That's, well, yeah, if it is real, it is a D-squared fashion show, you're there to fulfill okay, a job. 20 minutes, girls. It's not about who wins. It's fun and exciting. But this is also an incredible like, promo. Oh my gosh, the clothes are, like, phenomenal. There's a ton of people who've got girls who think they're the, just, like, the creme de la creme. It's your first show. Mm -hmm. But this is a show that really counts for me. And I asked them, have you done shows like this? And they're like, oh, yes, ugh, since I've been 12 or something. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Most people are recruited very, very, very young into Five modeling, should we show. say? We need you. Five minutes, girls! Quick! Run down the runway! Die! What the hell is going on with you? Death! I've been nervous, especially in front of the judges in the walk. It is this sounds me up. And I goofed very much yesterday, so hopefully I'll make up like for it with today. Oblivion. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, fashion. So I'm looking in the audience and I'm saying, oh my god. <laughs> There's like 300 people here. Remember, at the end of the runway, take your time. Oh, how your exciting! Phone. This is it. This is the runway. I Idol love fashion. <laughs> My heart is pumping so fast. It's, I mean, it's incredible that I didn't have a panic attack. Five, four, three, two, one. Light, camera, gout. Tonight is like a critical right, turning on. point of where the competition will the go. The makeup looks I'm really, really good. I'm like, I'm trembling. My stomach feels like doing butterflies. Is it because they actually had different this makeup artists the this time? Oh, there they are. Girls. There's no room for I'm an amateur. Are okay. you a top model or are you not? She's in the Tonight sky. Tonight will prove who is. <laughs> Hell, girls. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I like watching that. Oh, yes. Yes. I love it. In black, please. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I'm not aware of the audience. I'm trying to look sexy. I was like a high, like an adrenaline rush. She's lit really well. And do we like that walk? It's a little bit. Everybody's pulling, tugging. People are clapping, and I'm like, ah! Go, Mercedes! <laughs> oh my God, this is too much. Oh, my God. Mercedes versus Joanna. It's very strange because at real fashion show, you don't really like see clothes and then clap. You don't all go like, yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. Like it's a sporting event. That doesn't happen at real fashion shows. You kind of generally clap, you like you sit there, you enjoy, you take photos, whatever it is, you assess the fashion. And then at the end when the designer comes out is when everyone loses their mind, usually. So it's strange to watch it from this kind of, we're judging a sports, or, or we're judging a sports. A sports! Sexy na iso de, kono skew ski. Sports ball, round eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's very strange. That's the reality TV aspect, is that they've built up this idea that this is the biggest dramatic moment ever, which is, of course, keeping us all on our, the edge of our seats, because I am also included in that. Do it again. Run away! What was the idea for this collection, I wonder? Was it just random fashion or is it like going into summer, wear this gorgeous fluffy coat? And a leather vest. And then I'm like, oh, oh, that's Joanna? Oh, that bitch. And then I do my pose and I go, yeah, this one's for Joanna. Mm, 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 mm. I bet you do. 
Yeah, what, what's the vision? What's the creative vision? There's a ton of people back there. Oh, dead. My heel oh, broke. Dear. They had to go and find another shoe. One shoe did not fit. I think it was like four sizes too small. The shoe did not have what it takes to make it to the pageant. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Hold the chair. Oh, I need a model. Oh, my goodness. No, Anna. Yeah, so what's like now they're in like outdoor coats, but with no bottoms on. What's the vision? What's the vision? What's the vision? Now we need to go going. And then Nolay found Mercedes' old shoes, so they said, okay, you should have to work it. Yes, work it. So I just went out there and I did the best that I could. Which is exactly what you can do. Oh yes, clench that jaw sit. Swinging arms, do we like that? Now we've got leather jackets and baggy jeans. I don't I understand no the vision for this, this collection. Competition. Both girls worked it. Both girls rocked it. Work! This can't be a real fashion show. It can't be, because if you notice here, down by the side of the runway, there's actually like, are they called dollies? Is that what it is? Where you have like the camera on a dolly? <laughs> is it called a dolly? <laughs> you know, where the camera's on like rails and it moves down. Like, you wouldn't have that at a real show, would you? You wouldn't be like, oh, come to my exclusive show at London Fashion Week, but also we're filming it for Britain's Next Top Model at the same time. So sign a waiver to make sure you'll be on TV, girls. Like, I, I, is that right? Well, then I guess they do have to film, generally, they do film fashion shows because, like, a lot of European countries have a channel called Fashion TV. We don't get it in the UK, which is kind of a shame because I would have it on all day long, which is just, it's just literally runway all day long, just fashion runways constantly. So they must be being filmed in some way or another, but I don't know if they're ever filmed from this angle of, like, following the model along the runway. It's usually, like, at the very end, like, zoomed in and watching them walk towards the end of the runway, I guess? I don't know. I've never been to a fashion show in which there's been a dolly there. Right. What is the vision? Clap. Oh yeah, it's very good. All done. Great job. Oh my God. Hey girls, you guys so rocked. I don't know how we did it. Shoes broke. I had to wear new ones. I did make do with the shoes that I wore. I wasn't supposed to wear and I was freaked out. Mercedes, let me just keep you on. Happy to be here. I felt sexy. I love a so turtleneck. Hopefully, when I see the video and the pictures, hopefully that's what it emotes. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, girls. Oh, bats, bats, vampires. They're gonna get you. We have Tara Mail. We do. Pull right. I guess together. it's okay. I'll tear the elimination the final other. thing. Tomorrow, the judges will determine who will become America's next top model. Good oh, luck, how ladies. scary. Do you know I still love this it, whole even though the show is. is big hugely problematic and there's so much like nonsense around this show it's got such a huge nostalgic part in my life of like i still get excited when there's an elimination i still get excited when an, an, a new episode comes out i still get excited watching these episodes it's almost like seeing that relative that you used to really really like but is now really problematic but in your head you're still kind of like i really like you still but i wish you would not have done that do you know what i mean i don't know oh maybe i shouldn't say that <laughs> This whole experience has been phenomenal. I just feel mm. so blessed. Like, I never thought Phenomenal. that God would give me this much. Got a good breakfast tomorrow, and then we'll get... What the hell were you thinking? When you were you walking... stupid girl! <laughs> we were creating top models, not clowns on the other <laughs> This is, like, what I've been working towards my whole life, you know? Damn. And to e even fathom that I can possibly get what I want, you know, going all I'm gonna get what I want. I think it's too many shoes. Shut up, that. I'm just Shit. titillated about the whole situation. Oh, titillated. Well... All right, we're going to have a battle now in the it's Citadel. So weird. This whole journey is I know. Is this really our last day? It seems like we're going to pack up and go somewhere else. I think Mercedes is a beautiful person and I love her so much, but... In other reality TV shows, I don't think we ever get down to just like a top two in terms of like a full day lived experience. As in, they're in their own apartment or whatever and it's just those two. It must feel so strange to think how many people were around and how many other contestants there were and now there's just two. That must feel like such a strange accomplishment and also like... Wow, look how far we've gone. It's just like sisterhood almost. Ooh. I would be really heartbroken if Mercedes won because I've wanted it for so long since I was a little girl. So I'm going to be America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top Candle Girl. Yeah. 
Oh, just, just let me know when you're ceiling. ready. Joanna is a, a great person. I mean, I've shared a lot with her, but if Joanna wins, I'm I'm going to pull out her hair and say, it wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. I swear it wasn't meant to be. I'll kill her. <laughs> She's got <laughs> such a cute come. sense of humor. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, I'm then. ready, ready. to go down the governor. Right, here we go. Oh, awesome. Why are they packing? Have they actually left their apartment then? Oh. Onward march. Okay, sure. Right, here we go. Oh, where are your G square? Oh, I love your Anna's little romper there. I want that in black. Is it a romper? Hi, no, it's just a top. I changed my we mind. We watched you transform from everyday little girls to real bona fide models. And now it's time for only one of you. Oh, look at Tyra's titties. Titillating titties on the modeling runway. As America's next top model. Ooh. Among the prizes that the winner will receive are yes. a contract with IMG Models, Ing. a fashion spread in Jane Magazine, Janet. and a cosmetics campaign with Sephora. Sephora. For the final time in this competition, right. I'm going to introduce our panel of judges. Yes. First is one of the world's First supermodels, Miss Janet. One Dickinson. of the world's we first. We also have Eric Nicholson, who Come get is your the twink. senior fashion editor of Jane Magazine. And last but not least, we have Mr. Nigel Barker. Nigel Besquish. fashion photographer, and he also photographed you all in your very first shoot. Mm. There is no guest judge tonight because we have seen Keep it in the family girls. to week, whereas a okay. guest judge only comes in for one week. So yes. we feel like we know that science. She's got a degree. In the whole entire world right now, when it comes to deciding who has what it takes like to be a star. Here. Now it's time for your individual Volume. evaluations, and then after that, the judges will deliberate and okay. will determine which one of you all will become America's next top model. Ooh, now you guys know that you walked thing. in a very, very important fashion show, and we have got that footage. Ooh, here we go. It was so great. That was the attitude of a top model, baby. The yes. ladies, it's nice to see you taking your, your little signature walk that you seem to have, and you've just refined it enough. You were fierce last night, Miss Ailey. Yeah, you are. She's working it. Little booty there. Your ass is so cute. You are so good at the end. We make a connection with the photographers. You guys mixed in with the experienced models, flawless. Absolutely. Well, how did you feel on the runway, Joanna? Oh, I've never done drugs, but it, I'm sure it would be like doing some sort of drug. Um, it was Can't nerve girls. My shoe broke. Oh my God! I had to borrow Mercedes shoes. Sometimes some of the girls aren't that generous with here. Borrow my shoes? No way. One thing I noticed, Joanna, that you did is you were on the rhythm, but too much. Oh. And so then Mercedes electric, in the end, yeah. remember I told you do it at the most two poses? You did about five one yeah, time. Yeah, so that oh, was a no. bit much. At the most oh, two poses. Now we're going to take a look at the best of your photographs from all Okay, here photos. we go, girl. And here is the first. Oh, I, I forget. Them, of course. We're going to be looking at all of them. professional on my sets. For your very first photo shoot, you all were really amazing. Your yes. faces are flawless in the pictures. Striking. I mean, they both... We're striking. I think this is where we first sort of were, was seeing potential. It was a very strange photo shoot, though. They were just like, you're getting naked. Mm -hmm. You both look gorgeous. Yeah. You're like yin and yang here, hard and soft, masculine, feminine. Joanna, I actually, you look fantastic here. Yeah. Masculine. I mean, this is your genre. Mercedes, I don't see anything masculine I in any of these photos. I love this picture of you. I like how her little baby hair is just like smoothed down. That's a ghetto thing. Only little ghetto girls understand. Huh? It's a ghetto thing, Janice. These are the pictures where Joanna was Audrey mm. Hepburn and Mercedes was Billie Holiday. I was coaching everyone on set, and I didn't have to give either of you a lot of input. You guys really nailed this. I have to say the sophistication in your eyes, Mercedes, is very good for Billie Holiday. It's a beautiful. Really, these two are some of the best pictures. It's, it's Vogue and Breakfast <laughs> at Tiffany's. <laughs> oh, yes! Cyber. Mercedes, I love your hands. I like the warrior-like stance. And one of you, um, Joanna, is a little commercial. It's a little sort of catalog. catalog. I think face, uh, you want to Catalog is like a dirty word in America's Next Top Model, Mercedes, isn't it? but full yeah. length Mercedes is stronger than Joanna. Oh, yes. Oh, I see, I hated the Joanna one It is one the most here. difficult thing on the planet to take your clothes off and pose in front of people passing by. So, well done. Joanna, previous My weeks, goodness, was that a nice compliment? I'm proud of you. You know? Well, I'm glad she... Oh, That's who you were thinking about. No, I can't say you never think so sexy. <laughs> she just wants you to vote for her. Oh. Is it working? 
Oh, Joanna's, Joanna's your photo face clearly is works better symmetrical. there. Mercedes, I just, I'm crazy about your picture here. Crazy. 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 Looks I'm like a crazy. Cover. My name's and Janice Dickinson, and I'm crazy. It's just like a beauty story. I think both of you guys really rocked this out. You've taken right, here all we go. your previous week's experience and put it together, and you're What's all going to happen? How are they going to do this? Your final photograph. And it's the come together for both of you, which is brilliant. Right. That. Okay. How's so it going to happen? Time for Nigel and Nigel. Eric and Janice to and leave. myself to deliberate. Oh, to deliberate. And when we come back, I will announce who will be America's next top model. Scandal girl. Okay. Yay. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tyra. Thanks. See you all later. Right. Oh. I see Mercedes working in every country on earth. She. Oh, that's nice. So I've only ever judged like a handful of competitions where I've been like invited on as a judge, which is generally what being a judge is anyway. And I always find it so difficult because even the things that I've judged have been like, they've been like local things, like small shows, like very, 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 very not important in the grand scheme of things kind of thing. But it's still kind of like, if you say no to someone, it's still like, mm, crush your dreams. I don't know. It's difficult. It's a lot harder than it looks to judge um, competitions or to judge outcomes, especially when it's based on something so subjective as modeling. But there we go. Was the strongest in the runway competition for me? I think. Joanna, for me, makes more of an impression Ooh. in an exciting way. I think Joanna. I'm so excited! So she lives and breathes the modeling. She lives and breathes the designers. She does have and an Joanna edge. And Joanna knows it, and I'm really impressed by that. Actually but knowing is, a couple of photographers and designers. Has that personality, which, you know, you, you want a book, and she can move really well. I think Joanna has the X factor in her, Ooh. which is the. I'm not really sure what's going to come out of her mouth, or I'm not really sure Ooh. what she's going to do in front of the camera, and that's oh, exciting. Slap. Yeah, but I remember Mercedes that, and I was like, personality what the hell? is a top model personality, and she's fighting. Why did they put in her taking medication then? That was a weird choice. That you look at this sweet girl and you go, wow, I didn't know that. That's wow. why I love Mercedes. Right. I think Mercedes is a survivor. She's, she's pulling me away. Mercedes should win. One of the best girls on the runway yesterday. But the thing is, is does she have the face to sort of Fussing. grab international markets? The whole of America. Who did you like better in the show last night? Oh, London? no doubt about it. I preferred watching Mercedes. Thank you. Mercedes mm. had that natural rhythm of a walker. I didn't of see that woman. so much with Joanna. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. Uh, there, there you go. This is it's very tough. There you me. go. There you go! All right, the moon. We're gonna all transform into werewolves now and watch who wins America's Next Top Werewolf in Italy. Was right, the here wait we go. difficult while the judges deliberated? Yeah. What was going through your mind, Joanna? Death. Um, uncertainty. Mercedes? Insecurity. Oh. Well, you might have been uncertain and you might have been insecure, but you guys have come a long way. Oh. Look at that screen right there. Oh. We are about to find out. Here we go, girls. Who will be America's uh, next top scandal girl. America's next top model. Their hearts must have been in their nussies at this point. Joanna, you started off as the quirky, kind of weird girl, and you have transformed into this hip, stylish, a quirkier, weirder girl, gorgeous being. Lovely cheeks. A face like yours does she not so come mean around Camille. often. Hmm. Mercedes, you started off Gorgeous. as the cute girl in the mall. I want and Mercedes the judges to were win. Like, oh, she's so commercial, she's so commercial, but girl, you edgy right now. You have Here made that transformation. You have made that leap. Gorgeous Even though lips. you guys have come very far, there's only she one She loves that spot. phrase. Right, here we go. America's Next Top Model is... Heart rates of 300 BPM. <gasps> Joanna! Joanna girls! Of Joanna course it was! We knew time. it! Because this came out 20 years ago! <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, there we go. I Joanna think the Sadie should have won. Joanna breathes fashion, style, and modeling since childhood. She Joanna's did. dream has come true. And the fashion industry had better hold on tight, because Joanna's about to rock your world. But she wasn't very good at a lot of the challenges, so... I wanted it so bad. I really dreamed of this moment happening, oh. but it didn't go all the way. Not real. America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Oh, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. I never was a cheerleader, never made the squad, never made homecoming or prom queen, nothing. I was always just there and I never won. And now I'm America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Oh, faded away. There she is, the winner, 2005. We didn't see the dangly photo when they were judging it at the end. How strange. No, I know. That's the end. Ta-da. Wow. Okay. I've got some thoughts. Wow, my loves. Wow. In the grand scheme of things, this episode was not particularly controversial. Maybe except from a couple of comments that Tyra made, but I didn't really feel like this episode had a lot of things that made me kind of go, <gasps> Ugh, why are you saying that for storyline purposes? Or why have the producers made you do all this? I just feel like at the very end of all these seasons when they have like the big fashion show that it's just faked. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's very leading you up into believing that something is happening and then, oh my God, you can breathe because we've already got America's Do you know what I mean? It is really interesting that Tyra even said then, fashion industry, you better watch out because Joanna is here, girls. It's, it's very peculiar because we've heard from uh, post-show interviews with other contestants that have won later seasons that not really a lot happens after the show unless you go out of your way to actively make it happen. This kind of show only really gives you a couple of photos to take to a potential modeling gig. And only a very select few people from this show will actually have like a successful modeling career. So my lovelies, I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this season. It has been going on for a very, very, very long time. I'm so excited to have finished it though, because this was the first season I think that I actually watched more than like a couple of episodes when it actually aired all those years ago. I didn't watch it from start to finish, but I remember seeing certain dramas that we've seen, especially like Joanna versus Camille, because back in the day I was like, yeah, Camille's wrong. And now actually with an adult brain that can compute things, I'm like, actually the editing here has painted Camille to be a villain and she really isn't. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I haven't taken my, oh, hang it out. So my loves, I will be doing uh, an America's Next Top Model cycle to where are they now in a couple of weeks time. I need to gather all my resources and find out some juicy gossip about what the models were doing after the show. Let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode. The Final girls in the description box below. In fact, no, not the description box, in the comments box below, my loves. And with that, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my loves. Yes, you can. I want to say a massive thank you to all the Patreons who have been supporting me for throughout all of this like time in my life. This year has actually been such a transformative year for me in terms of like personality and obviously exterior. But I mean, like you guys have really enabled me to do what I love. And YouTube is what I love. I'm gonna be a YouTuber forever. You can't get rid of me, girls. I mean, I already have been here since 2006. <laughs> I started my first YouTube channel in 2006, the 25th of October. Can you believe that? That is wild. I also want to say a massive hello and welcome to Vigilanthe, Max, Boy, Anachronism, Megan Floyd, Addison Looney, Ryan Houlihan, Louis Steele, Shelley Meager, Bella Waite, TSC, Jared King, Sarah, Mark H. Williams, Author, Kel on Earth, Hayley Thorncroft, Hannah Thomas, H. Matthews, Alili, Ella Propeller, Catherine Cecilia, and Melissa T. I'm gonna be taking a little break from Twitch over Christmas just to let me have some actual breathing room because I've been working super hard since having my breast augmentation. <laughs> but if you do wanna go and follow me over on Twitch, it is Luxaria Plays and usually I stream every Monday and Thursday, my loves. And with that, I wanna say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Luke Peterson, Stefutech, Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Camille Sara, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, Connor, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Dr. A, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Catherine Ritter, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel the Sea Biscuit, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Travafol, Tromo, Victoria Corella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of, I really wanted Mercedes to win. She was so much better at that last challenge. Ah! And with that, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Ooh.